But how did Roman aqueducts work? Roman aqueducts were an engineering masterpiece used to transport fresh water to the cities. First, a water source had to be found higher than the destination, thanks particularly to the army. Engineers chose the best route by determining the slope required for water to be transported by gravity. Most of the aqueduct ran underground, through channels lined with hydraulic mortar and punctuated by vertical drops to relieve pressure. Along the way, the water passed through settling tanks that removed sediment and impurities. To get through the hills and mountains, the Romans used a mining technique consisting of digging a vertical shaft every 30 meters. This enabled them to work faster with a team in each shaft and to check alignment using plumb lines. To cross valleys, a bridge was built on which the aqueduct rests. But arches higher than 20 meters became unstable, so engineers limited the height of each level and gained elevation by stacking additional tiers. In deeper valleys, they used a brilliant solution, the inverted siphon, a sealed pipe system that carried water down and back up using gravity and pressure alone. To control and maintain the flow, they used sluice gates, special valves that could divert water, regulate pressure, isolate sections for repair, or distribute flow to different branches. To further purify the water, the Romans used large settling basins, usually located near the source and or just before the aqueduct entered the city. Once in the city, the water entered a distribution tank called the Castellum Divisorium, then was distributed via a network of pipes. The aqueducts were so well engineered that some are still in use today.